Sunland and Sky Lighthouse. So I did my ever first asking about love for some of you folks out there. And I just want to say, relationships take time. And I would say, generally, especially if you're feeling the time clock ticking, make sure you get to know someone first. I mean, most people know this, but when you find someone and you think they're the one right off the bat, or, you know, a couple of months into it, you're like, you're wanting to move more into more serious, and they're not. And this is from personal experience, folks. Sometimes we don't always choose the best partners. And... If you want to have a family, you want a good, solid foundation, take time to get to know someone, especially if they're looking if they're, if they're looking for the same things that you are. Make sure you are compatible. Make sure that, you know, that you agree on your, uh, the way you want to raise your children, um, how you expect discipline to go, who's going to be, um, you know, um, the more, whoever, you know, whoever's the more dominant person. Uh, though I've seen relationships where there's been, where the man was more or the woman was more dominant and the other partner was a little more lax but yet the more dominant parent didn't want to be the bad guy all the time okay so you've got to agree on how you want to raise your kids because in today's world with the way things are going and i know a lot of what are they millennials they're called now um don't want to have kids and that's fine too because with the state of the world now if i was back in my younger day i'd have had one and that had been it it had been just my oldest son because, and I love all my kids, don't get me wrong, but the way the world's going now, I worry about all my grandkids, grandkids and I have 13 of them. So, you know, just looking at the way the world is now compared to when I was 20 years old and having, wanting to be, you know, married and have kids and all that stuff, the world is so much more different. So take time to get to know someone make sure you use precautions and i know this all goes without saying but when you get when you fall into a relationship and the sex is good you know you're you're there's a lot of harmony around in the beginning stages you're always in that honeymoon stage for the first year folks um and these days i'm not saying don't have kids i'm saying just choose your partner carefully because sometimes when you have that glow of everything's great you know we go out to eat or we do this or we do that and the sex is good and we both have good jobs and you know it takes time to get to know someone and only over time are you going to know what you will or will not put up with what um you know how you want to do things like how your finances go your how your jobs go um you know, and does your does your even the partner that you're thinking, ooh, well, I'd love to have a family with you. I'd love to do this. Do they want a family? You need to talk about a lot of things before you. And folks, these days, and I know a lot of people don't agree with me, but I don't believe you have to get married. One of my ex mother in laws, when I told her I told my oldest son not to get married, she was so upset with me. And I'm like, what's the piece of paper got to do with how your relationship goes? Okay, now it does change things on taxes and stuff like that, but. They'd been together five years. They got married. It lasted a year. That piece of paper changes things. So all I'm saying is get to know your partner before you have kids, before you, you know, because, and honestly, there's a lot of kids in, that are in um, uh, foster care and stuff. If your time clock's running out, there's a lot of younger, there's, there's a lot of kids that need homes. Okay. So if you decide not to have kids and you'd rather adopt, great. If your time clock's running out and you want to have a baby, still don't pick the first guy that comes on. Make sure it's somebody that, unless you, unless you, unless you want to raise it by yourself. I've known the cases like that too, where older women decided they wanted to have a baby, but they didn't want to get married. They didn't want to be in a relationship, or they were gay. So you, only you can decide what's right for you. But get to know your partner well enough that you know that you have, that you agree on some things. Even if one of you decides, well, I'm going to be the bad guy all the time and you don't have to be and I'll be it and y'all agree to that, you have to have open communication. And I know all this goes without saying and some people are going to go, oh God, Lana, we've all, we've all, we all know this. But you don't think about it when you're in the glow of a new relationship. You don't. Think about those things. Because there's nothing worse than being with somebody for two years deciding to have a family and then you get married and then all of a sudden you notice things that you didn't notice before. Pay attention. Make sure that this person's going to love you, love the kid, wants the same things you want, or that there's enough diversity between you that it keeps it fun and exciting and you can make it work, you know, while taking care of all the serious stuff. Because in today's world, this is a heck of a way to raise kids these days. 
And, I mean, I even saw a girl on YouTube put up a video. She sued her parents because they wouldn't take care of her. And she's in her 20s. I assume she's in her 20s, I should say. I didn't see, she didn't say anything about her age. But she got really upset because her parents wouldn't take care of, pay all her bills and all this. Kids, if you're, and if you're anything like that, you need to get your head out of the sand. Because once you're an adult, you are an adult. Anyway, someone's going to get mad at me for that. I'm sure I'm going to hear about it. But I'm just saying, take the time to get to know someone before you decide to bring kids into this really crapped up world that we're living in right now. Things are changing. And with the, what are we, we're in the middle of a recession, um, just the way the world is right now, folks, it's just, it's really hard out there. And to raise a child, too, you know, it's, I mean, I'm having a hard time just being a single adult now after my kids are grown and taking care of myself because I'm not old enough to, to draw my unemployment, uh, my, unemployment, my uh, social security or anything like that. And I'm still struggling to make ends meet. So I can't imagine, even if you have a career, you know, and having all the things like having the car, having the house, have, you know, and all that stuff, and then trying to bring a child into it too with a, with a relationship that you haven't been in long enough that you know it's going to, you know, you both want enough of the same things that the relationship's going to work. Or that there's enough diversity that you can still make it work. You know what I'm saying. You all know what I'm saying. So just choose carefully on your partners these days, folks. I am, um, since I moved here to California, I've met a couple of guys that I could have went out with or gotten to know better. And I gave it some time and I never said anything. I still haven't said anything. And I found out really quickly when I thought, of, thought about what I wanted out of the rest of my life neither one were suitable and they're good for friends and that's it not even good for hanky panky <laughs> so choose your partners carefully make sure there's enough there that you can build a relationship before you have kids because nothing's worse than having an absent mom or dad and i've been there done that and you know or even there's been times i've been an absent mom because i was so busy raising my other two i couldn't even spend time with my older grandkids so every situation is different just Use to think more instead of base everything on your emotions. Make sure your head is involved as well as your heart. You can take this advice or leave it. Shove it away in a, in a container somewhere for later. Or, you know, look at it. Maybe decide you want to keep it. Don't keep it. Whatever. I'm just saying think a little bit more, folks. Don't let your emotions get the better of you. Been there, done that. Comes from personal experience. If you like this video, like, subscribe, and share. I'm going to be doing some videos that are a little bit longer. So, um, I'm still going to do my one-minute shorts because I absolutely love those. But this is just coming. All this comes from personal experience. Till later. Ciao. Lana Scott, Lighthouse.